And uh, what I'd like to first of all talk about is why Woodsboro Bank supports our community. And, and it's really very simple. Um, first and foremost, you know, Woodsboro Bank's been around for 121 years and we've seen some highs and lows in this county um, over that time. And suffice to say today, life is really different. As Katrina pointed out, we all know with the pandemic. Um, and, you know, so there's now there's tremendous need. I mean, I think now more than ever um, to frankly support the community. So that's a, that's a real key. I think the next point is that, you know, my wife and I often talk about how we were brought up and, and we were brought up to, to give back um, very much like in the, the rotary motto of service above self. And so we just, you know, we believe it's the right thing to do. Frankly, our organization has supported United Way for years and believe it's the right thing to do. And we support the community wholly. So that's, that's a very important point. That's part of our culture. You know, the next piece of this, which is so uh, critical is I think the fact that Ultimately, um, <clears throat> United Way and the work United Way does improves lives. And by improving individual lives, we improve the overall quality of life in Frederick County. And what's interesting is I have a number of colleagues here at the bank um, who, when all said and done, you know, they've had needs in their lives. And they've benefited from organizations that United Way has, has helped. And, and that's a really key thing to understand. I, I can say as you know, someone who's worked in the county for a lot of years, you, know, you, you sometimes think United Way and the, and the organizations that it works with are helping others. And, and it's not helping you know, maybe people you know. Well, the reality is United Way's reach is such that they help everyone. Um, and, and again, that's very important for us. Uh, I think the last part, you know, why us, is part of our culture. Um, you can see here the vision of our bank is to be the best bank in Central Maryland for our colleagues, our clients, our community, and our shareholders. Community is an equal stakeholder to us. And again, we're a community bank, so it's really, really, really critical and it aligns perfectly with our culture. Um, Next, I just give a little bit about my background because I think this does, you know, uh, kind of connect to why I do this. Um, I've talked about participating uh, previously as the bank has, but, you know, bankers always participate in United Way. It's kind of one of these things probably been going on forever. Um, I can remember giving, you know, a couple bucks a pay, you know, back almost 40 years ago when I was, was barely making ends meet. And I mean, truly barely making ends meet, but I always thought it was important based on how I was raised. Um, and that participation has grown over the years. But my real inspiration was my wife, Carol. Um, in the 90s, she and another woman, um, and we were living in Albany, New York at the time, um, they were both working, both raising young kids. Uh, you know, we were raising young kids, but I have to say Carol probably was doing a lot more of it than I was. And she decided with this other woman to start a, an, an event in Albany with the United Way called Day of Caring. And it, it's very much, it's transformed over the years, but it was basically a day where they would coordinate bringing people together, getting supplies and helping to improve people's homes and their, their quality of life. And it was a huge undertaking. And, and I, you know, and again, it aligned with who Carol was, but it, it showed me that you know, all you have to do is just kind of step out there and take the initiative. Um, Carol did a fantastic job with it. And um, about two years after that, we moved to Cleveland. Our bank uh, merged and uh, moved to its headquarters. And when I got to Cleveland, I was given the opportunity to help uh, chair and actually move into a three-year or orientation to ultimately chair our United Way campaign. And this was a big campaign. We had about 5,000 employees in Cleveland and it was a almost $2 million campaign. So there was a lot to learn. And I can tell you that's really the basis for my United Way knowledge around campaigns. It was a very well-run campaign. We raised again, almost $2 million. So between that experience and my wife's inspiration, um, that's really carried me forward. And you know, when, when I came here to uh, Woodsboro Bank, we had a history of participating. Um, it was really good. Our colleagues liked it. But I knew when I looked at our program and I listened to my colleagues, we could have a greater impact. So the first thing was, you know, 
how do we how do we communicate this and how do we engage our colleagues? So um, let me talk a little bit about that. Um, the first thing that was really clear that needed to be communicated was that United Way has evolved beyond what I call a single issue solutions provider. You know, you can you can work with United Way and your your money, your investments can go to multiple solutions. And, and again, it's a great evolution by United Way. Um, Furthermore, and I think this is so critical, and is that you know all of us who are running businesses, we want to make sure that you know our efforts, our resources are being focused properly, and being managed properly. And United Way, and I can tell Ken and his staff, they just do a fabulous job of making sure our investments in the community are are going to the places that need it most, and they do a great job with that. And that's critical because you don't want your money wasted. Um, let's face it, all the funds stay local and they address areas of greatest need. You, you heard about the Alice uh, report and, and that's a great guide in my mind to have us focus where money goes. Um, so again, this isn't just money being thrown to different places. It's very targeted, it's professionally managed, professionally focused. Um, another thing which I, I, I think is fabulous is it's not just about the money. United Way facilitates collaboration in our community. They'll take two different organizations, get them to work together, and it's the, the quintessential one plus one equals three or four. Um, the new pathway to transportation program is a great example of this. Um, Ken explained it, I certainly won't go into it, but I gotta tell you, that's just one of a number of examples where United Way is facilitating a better delivery and a, of serving people in our community using multiple nonprofits. And you know the other piece, which very critical, is United Way makes the campaign easy. Um, tremendous resources at United Way to run your campaign. Um, they just—I I know from my standpoint, I, you know, my colleagues who, uh, which I'm going to talk about next, um, who have worked with them, just could not have been more complimentary and effusive, frankly, in their compliments of the staff at United Way. So. I'm gonna, gonna wrap up with just a slide to talk a little bit about you know, the keys to campaign success from my perspective. Um, I think the first one is, 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 well, kind of obvious. I think it's uh, also critical and not to be overlooked. And, and that is that the campaign has to have active support from the, the CEO and senior management. And that's both in terms of voice and communication as well as participation. Um, you know, people really only believe what you do. And so it's what you do that's important. Um, I, you know, one of the things I made sure, you know, because it, this is, you know, the tone is right, has to be important here is really making sure people understood what um, United Way does and how they support Frederick County. I, I, you can't assume people understand that. And, and I frankly, when I first started chatting with Ken and his staff three plus years ago, I had to understand that. And, and uh, frankly, as I explained that to, you know, my team and others, everyone was like, oh, I didn't know that. And, you know, they, they start to understand the, the breadth of United Way. Um, and again, obviously, I talked about, you know, how efficient and effective United Way is in doing this. So, again, your seniors team has to be, has to be very active in supporting this. Now, point number two, though, is equally as important, and that's you've got to have the right employee campaign managers. And you can see the picture here. Uh, Angie and Brittany were the first campaign managers, did it for two years. Um, I asked our senior staff, I said, who should run this campaign? I said, because well, I really want our colleagues to run this. And I said, the only, th only qualification I have is I want them to be these really a high potential person, but also motivated to run it. And... Um, we had a number of people, you know, raise their hand and, and uh, Angie and Brittany ran it and did a superb job. Um, I, I believe Joan and uh, Hannah are two new employee campaign managers, maybe on this call, and they are equally, they're really high performers, highly motivated, great colleagues, and they're going to pick up and take the campaign to the next level. And when I was working with uh, Angie and Brittany, one of the things I made sure was I said, this is your campaign and I'm here to support you. I want you to think about what's gonna make them, what's gonna have the greatest impact here and in terms of reaching our colleagues and, and getting them focused 
and educated on why it's important and how they can help. And so Angie and Brittany ran with it. Um, and they used Alice data and they, they really made sure they had their facts right. Um, and then they made it fun. Um, they had raffles every week um, as you went into the campaign. And the raffles were focused, and I should say the campaign, this is a key point, was focused on participation. While we set a dollar level, we, a dollar goal, that's not what we communicated. Our intent here was to get everyone participating. And I actually learned that at Key Corp. Um, at Key Corp, our participation was 88%, and that was over 5,000 employees. Um, when I got here, I, our participation, you know, you can see here at the bottom was 29%. But they focused on participation and they made it fun. So the earlier you got in and signed up, the, the more raffles you were in. And we gave out a vacation, vacation days. We gave out, um, you know, a number of, uh, what I'll say, prizes under $100. We gave out fire pits, different things. And they just made it fun. And by the way, they selected the, the prizes um, and then came back to me and said, well, I need this budget. And uh, we gave it to them. They did a great job. Um, another key thing they did was they made sure that every department they worked with and every branch they worked with also had someone who owned the campaign in that branch. So it wasn't just them. And that was key. And, and that seemed to work really, really well. Um, and the last bar again here is this that, you know, we set the bar high. Um, you know, uh, at Wisboro Bank and my, me personally, I like to win, you know, and, and, uh, if you set a bar high, usually people step up. And so we set a 100% participation goal. And I can remember Angie and Brittany the first year, like, going, oh, my gosh, that's a big goal. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but I said, let's see where we go with it, you know. And we set it. And as you see, we went from 29% to 77% the first year. And we have 60, 60 colleagues here at the bank. So, you know, we're not a, a big, big company, but, you know, we're big enough. And it was fantastic. And then last year, they went to 85%. Um, and this year, our goal, again, is 100%. And, you know, again, the key is during that time as well, I think our uh, funds raised went from about $3,800 to $10,800. And again, you know, it's not as if we're this, you know, 5,000 person company, you know, with a $2 million campaign. That doesn't matter. I mean, we feel really good about, you know, increasing our dollars. And when you put a lot of companies like Woodsboro Bank together and other companies in the community together, you know, that, those thousands of dollars start adding up and really have an impact. But again, focusing on participation. It doesn't matter whether it's a, someone's giving a dollar a pay or $10 a pay or $50 a pay. It's just getting everyone in the game because that $1 translates into real money that might put food on the table for someone. They might put, you know, frankly, help someone's kids go to school, put a roof over someone's head. They could help someone with, with mental health issues. It could be any number of things that just $1 a pay. So anyways, that's kind of the, the keys to our success. And again, I want to thank Ken for, for having me on today and, and his entire team has helped uh, put together this, uh, this discussion.